Hey everyone, it's been a while. So today I have a big announcement to make, which is I deleted my Instagram. Yeah, it's been a whole deal. Um, like my public account, my sneaky secret private handle and even my Facebook account. So today's video is a bit different. It's about why I took this plunge, the emotional hurdles and the raw and unfiltered truth behind it all. So also a disclaimer is that I have deactivated these accounts and not deleted them. Now, before we deep dive, uh, if you haven't already subscribed, make sure to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video and share it with your friends. So before the ugly real deal about Instagram, it has a good side too, which I definitely have to appreciate, which is that Instagram has been this place where more than the distraction before that, it has helped me find a gateway to make connections, a platform where, you know, I have met incredible people, formed these lasting friendships. And, you know, it's a place where I've showcased my life in a virtual gallery kind of a way, which is very pleasing to me. Also, it has helped me kind of cross promote and even share my YouTube videos. But I had to quit Instagram. This wasn't a snap decision, it was like a slow burn fueled by the realization that Instagram was consuming more of my life than I'd like to admit. Endless scrolling became a default mode and the constant buzz of the notifications whenever my notifications would be on <laughs> kind of just distracted me. Picture this, even when I was offline, I kind of found myself, uh, you know, mentally composing my posts and stories. It was like I, I couldn't escape the clutches of the virtual world. The lines between the online and the offline kind of got blurred. Not not really, but it was just kind of distracting at times when I was like just working on something and studying and I would just think, oh, I would like to do this post on Instagram and I would like to share this. I would like to share my workout today on Instagram. It kind of just kind of was all over my head at times. And then there's the awkward layer, the, the scrolling through the crushes profile, which is probably the first time I'm going to admit that uh, online, I guess. But I know it's hard to admit, but I think it's pretty natural. And wondering, you know, what they're up to checking her profile and regular stories and thinking when and what are we going to talk next about or what's going to happen next and whatever it became kind of you know a regular part of my instagram routine it was getting a bit too intrusive plus the fear of you know losing touch with my online friends and you know the the thing that i had to keep in constant check on their stories and post and you know be updated about them what's happening around kind of really got on to me and it was just mounting on the pressure. I tried breaking free from Instagram loop. First, I deleted the app probably like a year ago. Cold Turkey just deleted it. But like an addiction, I found kind of myself reinstalling it, which didn't really take that long with the ultimate internet speeds we have probably like two minutes and it's up on your phone. So I found myself reinstalling it thinking maybe I could control it better. At one point, I even handed over the control to my mom, so asking her to change my password. I stayed off Instagram for over a month this way, and in the end of December, I felt I was good now, and I could deal with it. Thought I could, you know, just control everything, be mindful and just manage it but but this platform is just designed in such an amazing way i have to commend the incredible way engineers and the developers and everyone works out to you know make you stay on the platform the more they can so that the more they can earn the better for them it's just you it's, it's hard to control at times so you know I thought I could control that, but then I was up over again and it, it it was hard. I stayed off for over the month and then felt I was good now and could deal with it. Thought I could, you know, strike a balance and using it. But I was back in the rabbit hole. I was scrolling through Instagram. I was again viewing her profile, viewing her stories and just checking my friends posts again and their stories again. 
then one thing would lead to another and also the thing that i would never do i would not i would generally not compare myself with others but when you're there it just so happens that you see um your friends your acquaintances you know like people your age they are like getting married nowadays like literally uh getting engaged or married and whatever and um people already have started working really getting on with their lives and i'm still like a med student which is normal i knew it and i know it that med school life is generally you know like the life kind of starts a little late with all the education that you have to go through it's pretty normal but once you see that it just takes over your mind so that was a hard part to deal with and i was just being stressed out with too much extra information that i just decided i i couldn't you know give this attention to something else in this time of my exams so i decided to delete it now um let's talk about the heartache the activating instagram was actually very hurtful um not because of the constant scrolling and watching the reels it it's not um that bit of a problem with me like the real thingy but the big problem is that it it felt like saying a goodbye to a chapter or like to a part of my life with all the shared memories the pictures videos and posts that i had the stories that i had with my friends and it was like a well curated you know like an online space where i could just revisit everything share it with others who i cared about and it was kind of just going to go once i deleted it or even deactivated it everything would just go away in like a moment it it just felt very hard but um there was the sadness um uh, knowing that these digital memories and these digital fragments of my life would kind of vanish if not permanently if, like at least for a while if i'm off instagram but you know like sometimes growth comes with the sacrifice and this one kind of really felt necessary for me so yeah as of now uh what's next is that i have only kind of deactivated my account i have not deleted the account so the accounts kind of vanish the posts and stories your shared posts and everything just vanishes you won't see me anywhere on instagram uh both for my public account and the private account both of them um so it's kind of still there but it's not visible it just it's just gone and if i want to reactivate it i kind of can the aim is to kind of regain control over my habits and then reevaluate um if i think this is the the pros of using instagram are more than the cons sometime in the future so maybe i'll reactivate it or maybe i won't i i don't know for sure now uh, i'll perhaps kind of you know like see it with time and um maybe i'll make like a fresh start with a new account maybe and you know where i just post one sided thing and not kind of consume too much of it because i had that problem with consuming in excess or just not being able to manage my consumption even though i'm very mindful of things um instagram is like so well designed like even youtube for that matter facebook or whatever these are like well designed apps or platforms that have worked all these years to make their you know interface and everything so addictive which which is bad but it's good for them and and that that's how it is and we are like just a human being um and our minds are kind of just made this way and that's how they are taking advantage of in a way so i think i am just going to stay away for now and when once i feel like okay or if i feel or if i don't i don't know i might come back but definitely it's going to be after my exams so until my exams and for like a few months i think i'm off or maybe for forever i don't know you you guys will know so to stay updated make sure you subscribe to the channel i'll post the updates and so there you have it the emotional journey behind quitting instagram this decision is very personal and it comes with its you know share of heartache and relief that i don't have to worry about it anymore even though it's been like a week that i've deactivated it it kind of is still there a bit you know i i still feel like oh what's that friend up to who i haven't talked for a while or what's 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 that what's that girl up to you know haven't checked on what she's doing um we're just pretty normal for this age um but i just have to kind of focus on myself for now 
and just get better at things and maybe later i can you know think about all that if i want to or if not whatever so yeah this is it i'll keep you updated on this roller coaster ride in the future videos uh, before you go please make sure you share your thoughts if you want to in the comments below like have you ever taken a break from social media and if so how did it impact you don't forget to subscribe like and share this emotional ride um it was very personal and kind of hard to just share because it is a problem which is like problems are hard to accept and you know just be public about at times but well it's okay um there we are we're getting better and until next time stay real stay true stay safe and we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching